Welcome to the Harper Classroom, series of instructional videos. This video is on Seasonal Index Forecasting Part 1. In the time series terms and techniques, we have the third time series, which is a stationary time series with seasonal random components and seasonal index technique. And I will use the five-step problem-solving process in this video. Let's start with two years of quarterly data. And step one is to plot and determine stationarity. So if we plot the data, the stationarity really is around the stationary mean. We can see that it increases in this uh, first year, because four quarters is a year, and the second year it increases. But it doesn't keep increasing. It comes down and repeats. So therefore, the overall nature is stationary. So it's a stationary time series. Step two is choose your components. Well, components is a cause of variability. And the variability, again, is around the stationary mean. Well, we see the first four quarters, which is a year, does have an increase, but that pattern within the first year repeats the second year. So when you have the variability uh, that is a pattern, and that variability around the stationary mean repeats the next year, that's called a seasonal component. Well, if this pattern repeats the next year, I would expect all four numbers to be the same for the next year, but they're not. For example, the first quarter for the second year, it decreases. For the second quarter, it increases from 33 to 35. The third quarter, it decreases, and the fourth quarter, it increases. So between the years, there is variability, but that variability is patternless. So that's referred to as a random component. So the variability within a year, due to a pattern that repeats every year, that variability is a seasonal component. The variability between the years is a random component. So next, select the technique. Here's where the table comes in, where we have a stationary time series, a seasonal and random component, technique of preferences, seasonal index. Then we estimate our parameters. Well, a parameter for seasonal index is the seasonal indexes, but we will not estimate seasonal indexes in this video, in part one. We will do that in part two. The next step is obtain your forecasts. In this simple example, since the variability between the years is random, if we take the average of each quarter between the years, then that average then turns out to be our forecasts. So we can plot these forecasts, 25, 34, 43, 55, and so we have our forecast for the next year. But let me point out that these forecasts were obtained within the seasonal index technique without using indexes. So even though you have the approach of seasonal index, you don't have to use seasonal indexes. But we will in part two. So that ends the video on Seasonal Index Forecasting Part 1. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.